In this video, you'll learn about the cut line feature that ensures that you can put your models with aligners into the machine for automatic cutting. Before using this feature, you need to attach a fixture to your models. It will ensure that the models will be placed into the cutting machine in the correct position and that there will be no errors when cutting out the aligners. It's important to know where the starting point of the coordinate system is for both the model and the fixture. This knowledge can be used when adding your own fixtures in Ortho Control Panel. In Ortho Control Panel, go to Milling Machine Fixtures and press Add. Fill in an individual ID that this fixture will have in your Ortho software. In order to import a fixture, press the red X button and a window will pop up. Find the specific fixture file that you want to import and press Open. Please bear in mind that if you want the fixture geometry to be subtractive, you must enable the Subtract Fixture from Model option. When finished, press Save and exit the control panel. The software allows you to attach a fixture during model preparation in the Sculpt step for both the maxillary and the mandibular jaw. Press Fixture and select one from the drop-down list. Use the control points to move and rotate it. Press Apply. It's good to know that fixtures can also be mixed to create more complicated shapes. When in the Export window, you can edit all the settings for automated cutting. To be able to do that, please make sure that the Export for Printing option is enabled, as well as Cut Spline 2. It may prove helpful to open the jaws to have a better overview of the cut line. The software enables you to adjust the line for the buckle and the lingual side separately. With Offset, you can put the cut line further or closer to the gingiva. Wave Offset allows you to change the curving of the line. It's possible for the aligner to end either in the middle of the last tooth or fully behind it. In addition, you can set the milling direction and the cut line smoothness. Once you're satisfied with the settings, press Export. A new pop-up mold adjustment window will open. Press Cut Line Editing. Here you can make additional changes to the cut line. In the first step, it's possible to enable or disable the cut line for all the aligners. Press Next to go to the Individual Adjustments step. Here you can select an aligner from the list and then make corrections specifically for it. You can even draw the whole cut line from scratch if needed. The software will protect the most crucial areas by marking them in red, where it is not possible to draw the cut line. Once you finish all the adjustments, press Next, and then press the Export button. Now, all the models and the data needed for cutting will be exported to the specified folder. Press Done to go back to the Virtual Setup step of the Clear Aligner workflow. This means that you now know how to use the Cut Line feature. Thank you for watching.